Hey, this is, uh, this is your boy Juggernaut coming at you from uh, 440. Today I'm going to do a quick training video. I know everybody's done it, but you know, there's some things they explain, some things they don't, right? I'm going to try to explain everything here, and if I don't, as usual, drop it in the comments below. Okay, so I'm going to go up here uh, first to the Kingdom Buffs, right? Well, today we've got another 18 hours left on a 30% troop training speed for the kingdom buff which is given to you by the king right or queen in our case um there's another 30 percent training speed buff okay and then this one here you see is a just it's it only happens after kvk if you fought in kvk and if you lost a bit of power right you get 300 percent okay and once you reach that power limit it's gone you know you don't get that 300 percent boost anymore so make sure you're training the troops that you need first with that 300% boost. Like, say you lost a ton of infantry, uh, like I did, you know, when during KVK, then, you know, I'm going to really hit it hard on infantry, okay? And here I got a daily delivery package, right? That gives me 30% training speed, okay? I'm not advocating that you buy it, it's just there, you know, everybody knows what, everybody should know what the daily delivery package is. Okay, you go into the, no, not the event center, War Aid Center. Um, speaking of, go ahead and claim that bad boy. All right, the, you, you uh, with the daily delivery, you know, scroll through these, you can see what you like, what you need, whatever. All right, and then you got, where is it? Where is the daily deliver they're trying to offer? Usually they offer, uh, they offer it right here. Um, oh, just go to the monthly subscription, right? You go to this one here, click on the beach, if I can find it, or the boat, sorry, right next to the boat, subscription, okay, and you can choose uh, which package you want from the daily delivery, <coughs> alright? It used to be all pretty much the same, but now they're kind of switching it up to get people to spend more money, right? They give you 30%, okay? So now I'm going to go up here into my talents, okay? And the talents, you know, depending on uh, how far you can go, is how much speed you can get, right? So let's see here. So I'm on balanced, right? And I go all the way over here, and then I go up to this part, right? This gives me... Uh, five five percent to training capacity, okay. This gives me another five to training speed, and then I today because I'm going to be doing a lot of training, right? Uh, I'm going to go back to that one. Let's see here. I got training speed two, okay. That gives me another twenty percent right there, okay. Now this one's only good for thirty minutes, and it's going to reduce your resource cost. by uh, 25%, right? Food, wood, silver, iron, whatever, okay? Um, all right, that's done. Talent points, okay, now let's go to equipment. All right, you got your helmet here, all right? This is, uh, this is all basic gear, okay? This is like stuff that you can get as a level you know, uh, if you got the steel level 5, level 6, level 10 castle, whatever. Alright, so you go scroll down here. You got training capacity plus 30%. Okay? And then you go to your ring down here. This gives you a training cost of negative 10%. Okay? Um, and then you go to the, the heart locket. Okay, scroll down here, training capacity, plus 15%, okay? If you're wondering where this gear is, you go scroll down here, new recruit, right? It's right there. It is so cheap to build. Uh, you know, your, your friend could send you this in, you know, you could build two of these if your friend sent you some, some uh, iron, right? Or steel, sorry. So your friend sends you some steel. Okay, so you get that. And now let's go down to our guards. Okay. If 
If you want guards for troop training speed, you look at your innovator, this guy here, right? So he does not have troop training speed. She does, but it's going to be a long time till I get there. Okay, she's got the highest. Um, and then I got Galileo, right? Boom, he's got 60%. But our boy Volatar. He has a max of 66, okay? So as far as purple guards go, he is the best, right? Um, I had a buddy who, who was uh, really, you know, she's got all max guards and, and she was using uh, Galileo. I was, like, I was like, you have all max guards, you should be using Volatar. I was like, I wish I had it. You know, an extra 6%, it adds up after a long time, right? So if you look here, boom, 66% with a boy Voltaire, Voltar, or whatever, okay? So you want to have your guard equipped in your council. All right, just having him does you absolutely no good. Okay, um, so I'm gonna equip this guy here. There he is, Galileo, Galilei. All right, and then we got. I'm gonna go down to my strategist. Okay, she gives me a training capacity of 360. Okay, and this guy here. Uh, Jules Mazarin, okay? He also has a training capacity. I haven't even bothered leveling him up. I probably should, because he's got reinforcement capacity and rally capacity and all that, right? But uh, that is not the role I'm playing in the game at the moment, so I haven't really bothered. But if, let's go ahead and look at him, right? I've got enough to max him out anyways. So, or almost max him out. Let's see here. Yeah, I got another 200 left. I don't need many. Okay, so let's look at this. Doo -doo. All right. Guard training capacity plus 300. So he's got a max. Actually, it's less. Okay, so I thought it would be more. Anyways, I was wrong. All right, so she's going to be our best bet. And she's a blue guard, so she drops reg rather regularly, right? You can get that training capacity up as soon as you get her. Okay? You also get troop training speed by leveling up your military tents, okay? Um, it gives you a train, I have a training capacity of plus, you know, 1585 plus 1173, right? You wanna hit this little question mark. Total training indicates how many soldiers you can train, blah, 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 right? Well, now let's go into info. Info, more info. I was, just, I was just in there. All right, so if you look here, troop training speed, the percentage goes up every time you level it up. So does your training capacity, okay? All right, the higher you go, the more you get, okay? So try to get those up. You know, if you're just, if you're pushing troops for KVK, you know, level those bad boys up, you know? Make sure your hospitals are up so that you've got a place for them to go when they die or get wounded, right? Or not die, when they get wounded, okay? So that's another place you get troop training speed. All right, now let's do another one even better, okay? Um, let's go down to wonders, right? Sometimes you get some temporary wonders here that are pretty cheap. You know, you get a troop training speed one that'll, it only lasts for, uh, I think it's three hours, maybe two hours, I can't remember. But you know, it's cheap, and if you, if you just need to rock out some troops real quick, but you can also go to store, and you got your drums, okay? It's gonna give you 20%, okay? Troop training speed. Now I'm gonna be doing this for you guys. I would normally hit my farms and get all the food that I need, but I'm doing it, all right? So let me go to this wonder, equip it, okay? I said, I'm going to rock out some infantry. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at my infantry and see where I think I'm personally lacking, okay? So my setup's going to be completely different than your setup based on my stats, based on my talents, everything, right? So um, I am pretty much going to be focusing on T10 and do, 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 T8. Yeah, T10, T8 infantry. Everything else I can build, you know, maybe maybe some T9s, okay? So <clears throat> with that 300% boost, I'm going all T10s, okay? 
And afterwards, if I'm still training, I'm going to be um, going for the, the, the smaller ones. The reason I do T10s is because they take forever, right? And I don't want to I don't want to burn a bunch of speed ups. Um, and obviously T11s and T12s take even longer. So I don't want to burn a bunch of speed ups later to train them. So I will slow build on the lower tiers. All right. So obviously I don't have enough food. I I hate where they put this uh, gold button, right? It's like they intentionally put it there right next to that slider, which never works properly so that you spend gold. Well, I make sure I don't open up enough gold when I'm training so that GOG won't have me constantly clicking that, you know, especially when you try to do it really fast. I, mean, I think they know that people are going to accidentally hit that button because I've done it before. All right, so let me go ahead and just open up a bunch of food, right? Not a bunch, but... I don't even really care if I waste some of it. All right, so how much food is that going to give me? All right, now I've got 16 million food, right? So I'm going to rock these bad boys out. All right, so I try to get as close to the hour as I can, you know, or the minute. That way I'm not burning unnecessary speed ups. Um, so what I'll usually do, so I just burn just the training speed ups, okay? Uh, let me see how I want to get to 16 hours, okay? So I get as close to 16. 1606. Boom. 2256, okay? Um, that's pretty good. 2256 for 16 hours, okay? Hit that. Train. Speed up. Boom. And, you know, I mean, you know, I honestly suggest writing down exactly what you need. Like, I know what I need. All right. I know what's going to die um, when I get hit. You got to make sure that these are all equipped. You know, you know, make, you know, go ahead and finish this before you pop into, uh, into AC. All right. Normally, I write this number down. Let's see. Here. Okay. My troop training speed is always changing. Okay. So, remember that. 2256, okay? So I'm gonna hit that, boom. But write down what you need, you know? And if you don't know what you need, ask. Um, I can't tell you what you need because I don't know your stats um, or your war talents or, right? Or, or your, your role in, uh, in battle, right? So I'm going to keep rocking these things out until that timer goes up. Um, And I'm probably going to get a thousand questions. Why are you doing just infantry, man? Well, I just said it, didn't I? Um, I build based on my build and my talents, you know, and, and my need, you know. Um, two, two, five, six. All right. Because in KVK, that's what I lose most of. I lose infantry. If I get hit, I lose most infantry, you know. Um, mostly infantry. Two, two, five, six. Some people send like crazy. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna slaughter you with, uh, you know, battle marches, right? I like doing that too. That's, that's pretty much how I play. I'll go after somebody who's either got an absolute crazy ton of troops, and I'll burn a few marches, or uh, somebody who's got a little bit higher stats and. Uh, Try to take their legs out from underneath them. So everybody plays a different way, right? Some people like to hit the small guys. I like to hit guys that <laughs> they're going to be a little bit more upset in the morning. Um, and it's, it's not it's not a malicious thing, you know what I mean? I just I like the challenge of it. You know, I don't I don't I don't see a challenge in hitting little people. You know. Um, I mean, I, I was a little guy for so long, so maybe that's the reason. Who knows? But I enjoy <clears throat> checking out that battle report. And, you know, the way I play it, sometimes it's not the first or second or third battle report, but it's that fourth one or sometimes fifth, right? And you're like, bam. Oh, you know, you just took out a million troops, seven, you know, 700,000 troops. Um, granted, uh... 
sometimes they're sleeping when that happens, generally. You know what I mean? You don't want to hit somebody who's got higher stats than you um, when they're fully aware or they've got their, you know, uh, anyways, when they, when, when they got their airship at home, you know. Some, you know, some of these big guys, they spend all this money, you know, doing this and doing that. They got all these troops and they don't even buy an airship beacon in the middle of battle. I know, you know, you got to save up the gold for it. I do, you know what I mean? I spent a boatload of gold yesterday in KVK, but I make sure that I have that airship beacon if I'm going to battle, or I'm, I'm, I'm not going to battle hardcore, you know what I mean? I'm not going to lose all my troops because I don't have the gold to do it. All right. And you say, oh, when, there, when is there enough T10s? When is there enough, when is there enough of your, your highest tier troop? Well... I don't know. I don't know what that answer is. <coughs> two, two, five, six. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, um, yeah, eventually, uh, let me go back up to this bonus again, right? The, uh, the, the King's Boost. Let's see how much I've used. You know, I still got a lot left, right? Troop training speed. So I'm going to be getting a lot of infantry done today. But you don't want to be sitting here watching me make infantry all day. All right. So that's how I do it. Did I miss something? Uh, right. Normally, right, again, I'm going to be hitting this. Okay. But I'm going to be hitting this when I'm not talking and I'm speeding through. Okay. Um, like I said, I, know, I, I have my farms. Um, my farms will open up all the food I need. I did this for video's sake. Um, yeah, make sure you activate that. Make sure you know exactly what you need before you activate it. Make sure you've got the RSS either in packs or hit a farm or just stole it from somebody, whatever the case may be. All right. Uh, this is your boy, Juggernaut, K440. Work with my boy, Khabib, 171. Peace.